Hey guys, it's January 22nd, the release date of Oath of the Gatewatch. Let's open it. Okay, so let's open the booster box first. So, I am hoping to pull an Expedition Land Wasteland if possible. Alright, let's see what's in our first pack. I'm going to do kind of like a speed opening thing. Because no one really cares about the commons and stuff. So I'm going to go right to the end there. So our first rare is Glade Heart Cavalry. So that's pretty cool. Set that off to the side. And then you can see you get the uh, basic lands. There's ooh, a new elemental creature. Some cool uncommons. Right to the end. And we got a Wandering Fumarole. So that is uh, another dual land that changes into a land creature, or an elemental creature. So I got that, and I got a foil island, I like that too, and uh, a couple other uncommons are cool. Next we have Fall of the Titans, that's pretty good. So it's an instant, and it has Surge. X, which reduces its uh, casting cost, and that's if you cast another spell this turn. It deals X damage to each of up to two target creatures and or players. That's really cool. I like it. Maybe I'll draw Scion. Next we have Stonehaven Outfitter. Quick creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Whenever an equipped creature you control dies, draw a card. That's pretty cool. Another Eldrazi Scion there. Cool stuff. Next we have an Eldrazi Displacer. 3-3 three, three with D-Void. Uh, pay 2 generic and 1 colorless. Exile another target creature, then return it to the battlefield tapped under its owner's control. Cool. And zombie there. I want to get one of the new Wastes. Let's see what those look like. So we get uh, Hedron Alignment. Enchantment with Hexproof. Beginning of your upkeep, you may reveal your hand. If you do, you win the game. If you own a card named Hedron Alignment in Exile, in your hand, in your graveyard, and on the battlefield. Cool. That's a cool way to win the game. And then I got a Foil McKindy Aeronaut. Nice. Next we have Thought Not Seer. When it enters the battlefield, target opponent reveals his or her hand. You choose an online card from it and exile that card. When Thought Not Seer leaves the battlefield, target opponent draws a card. 4-4 four, for four, 4. Cool. Another Eldrazi Sion on there. Next we have Mina and Den Wildborn. I think this was one of the first cards spoiled, at least that I saw online. So it's 4-4 four, four for 4 mana, 1 red, 1 green. You may play an additional land on each of your turns, and then you can pay 1 red, 1 green. Return a land you control to its owner's hand. Target creature gains trample until end of turn. And they're an elf ally, so that's pretty cool. Scion. Um, where's my wasteland? Alright, so now we have the Oath of Chandra. Two mana, legendary enchantment. When Otha Chandra enters the battlefield, it deals three damage to target creature and opponent controls. At the beginning of each end step, if a planeswalker entered the battlefield under your control this turn, Oath of Chandra deals two damage to each opponent. I'm kind of excited for these Oath cards um, and a few things in this set because it, yeah, I want to build like a planeswalker only deck and that seems like it would go well with that. Alright, so now we have Overwhelming Denial. It's a uh, instant for 4 mana, it's got Surge, 2 blue. Overwhelming Denial can't be countered by spells or ability or abilities, counter target spell. Good little uh, counter spell there if you cast more than one spell this turn. Uh, and then we got Kozilek's Pathfinder for the foil. Target creature can't block Kozilek's Pathfinder this turn if you pay 1 colorless. Cool. Uh, and then Octopus Token. Next 
We have Needle Spires. Enters the battlefield tapped. It's a red and white elemental land. That's pretty cool. Gets 2 1 and double strike. Awesome. That's two of the dual lands I've gotten now. Alright, and we've got. Ooh, Mirror Pool! So that's my first Mythic Rare. I was really excited to get this one, so. Mirror Pool enters the battlefield tapped. Add one colorless to my mana pool for tapping it, and then two generic, one colorless, sacrifice Mirror Pool, copy target instant or sorcery spell you control. You may choose new targets for the copy, and then for four, uh, to, and sacrifice it. Sorry, four generic, one colorless, and sacrifice it. Uh, put a token onto the battlefield that's a copy of target creature you control. Awesome. Really like that. Happy I got that one. All right. Next we have Dread Defiler. 6-8 for 7 mana. It's devoid. Pay 3 and 1 colorless. Exile a creature card from your graveyard. Target opponent loses life equal to the exiled card's power. Ooh, that could be pretty good. I like that. And I got a Foil Pulse of Marassa. Just a green common there. So, we now are, uh, we now have Dimensional Infiltrator. 2-1 Devoid Flash Flying for 2 mana. Okay, 1 generic, 1 colorless. Target opponent exiles the top card of his or her library if it's a land card. You may return Dimensional Infiltrator to its owner's hand. Cool. Elemental. Uh, there's Expedite. I'm actually excited for that common there. And... Kozilek's Return! Awesome! Yes! I really wanted this one. Okay, so it's instant, three mana, like one red and two generic. Kozilek's Return deals 2 damage to each creature. Whenever you cast an Eldrazi creature spell with converted mana cost 7 or greater, you may exile Kozilek's Return from your graveyard. If you do, it deals 5 damage to each creature. Awesome. Really glad I picked pulled that. Alright. Call of the or Call of the Gatewatch. Awesome. This is uh, one of those ones I'll put in my Planeswalker deck. So, for three mana, it's a sorcery. Search your library for a Planeswalker card, reveal it, put it into your hand, and then shuffle your library. Awesome. Really like that. Alright, so... Linvala the Preserver. Awesome. Third Mythic Rare. So, uh, for 6 mana, you get a 5-5 five, five flying. Uh, when she enters the battlefield, if an opponent has more life than you, gain 5 life. And when she enters the battlefield, if an opponent controls more creatures than you, put a 3-3 three, three white angel creature token with flying onto the battlefield. Pretty good. Alright, so... Endbringer. So it's 5-5 five, five for 6 mana, untap it during each other player's untap step. Deals 1 damage to target creature or player if you tap it, and 1 colorless and tap, target creature can't attack or block this turn. 2 colorless and tap, draw a card. Really cool. You can uh, hold your eyes and get Or any deck, really. Alright, next we have... Vile Redeemer. Getting lots of Eldrazi here, so. 3-3 uh, three, three for 3. Get the Void Flash. When you cast him, you may pay 1 colorless, and if you do, put a 1-1 one, one colorless Eldrazi Silent Creature token onto the battlefield for each non-token creature that died under your control this turn. Cool. So that could uh, get you lots of little weenies. And then we have a plant there. Captain's Claws. It's uh, an equipment. Two mana, a quick creature gets plus one, plus zero, and whenever a quick creature attacks, put a 1-1 one, one white core ally creature token onto the battlefield tapped and attacking. Equip a one. That's pretty good. It kind of makes the equipped creature like uh, Brahma's King of Oreskos from 
Um, was it Journey into Nyx or Born of the Gods? Probably Born of the Gods, but anyway, another elemental. Oh, and there's a Wastes there. I wasn't looking in the middle, but there's the first Wastes I've noticed. Probably have more. Another Expedite, awesome. All right, got another Eldrazi, Reality Smasher. 5-5 five, five, Trample Haste for five. And whenever Reality Smasher becomes the target of a spell an opponent controls, counter that spell unless its controller discards a card. Ooh, that's pretty good. That's really good, I like it. Alrighty, Oath of Jace. When Oath of Jace enters the battlefield, draw three cards, then discard two cards. At the beginning of your upkeep, try X, where X is the number of Planeswalkers you control. It's not bad. If you had a lot of Planeswalkers, it'd be really awesome, but uh, it'd be kind of hard to hold on to. Um, yeah, looking for another waste, but didn't see one in that pack. I hope they're not hard to come by, because I do want to make a color of the Drowsy deck. All right, there's another waste right there. Goblin Dark Dwellers, four, four for five, they have Menace, and when they enter the battlefield, you may cast target instant or sorcery card with converted mana cost three or less from your graveyard without paying its mana cost. If that card would be put in your graveyard this turn, exile it instead. Cool Goblin. Oh, oh, oh. All right, I see something really cool, but first we're gonna, ooh, I'm excited now. First we're gonna look at Deceiver of Form. So it's an 8-8 eight, eight for seven mana. At the beginning of combat on your turn, reveal the top card of your library. If a creature card is revealed this way, you may have creatures you control other than Deceiver of Form become copies of that card until end of turn. You may put that card in the bottom of your library. Cool. All right, so. Yep, there it is, an expedition land. Strip mine. At colorless humanical, sacrifice strip mine, destroy target land. Awesome. It's not the wasteland I wanted, but awesome. I'm really glad that I got an expedition land. Um, I, I only got two last time and I had to get a lot of cards to do that, but awesome. Really happy about that. And it's 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 gorgeous. Really awesome. All right, haven't pulled a Planeswalker yet. I was hoping I would get at least one and the Kozilek card, so hopefully they're coming still. So, uh, Matter Reshaper. Another Eldrazi, 3-2. When Matter Reshaper dies, reveal the top card of your library. You may put that card onto the battlefield if it's a permanent card with converted mana cost three or less. Otherwise, put that card into your hand. Cool. Okie dokie. Ruins of Orin Reef. Ruins of Orin Reef enters the battlefield tapped. Add one colorless to your mana pool and tap. Put a plus one, plus one counter on target colorless creature that entered the battlefield this turn. Cool. Great in an Eldrazi deck. Another Captain's Claws. Well, this isn't a huge set, so I, I assume I'm gonna get some doubles. Some more wastes there. Oh, Crush of Tentacles, okay. Six mana. Um, so Sorcery Surge is only five mana. Return all non-land permanents to their owner's hands. Crush of Tentacles surge cost was paid. Put an 8-8 blue octopus creature token onto the battlefield. Cool. And I got a foil sifter of skulls. Cool. Very cool. It's uh, whenever another non-token creature you control dies, put a 1-1 colorless Eldrazi Scion creature token onto the battlefield. It has sacrifice to add color stream in a pool. Cool.
All right, to uh, Bearer of Silence. 2-1 for 2, Devoid. When you cast Bearer of Silence, you may pay one generic, one colorless. If you do, target opponent sacrifices a creature. It's got flying and it can't block. It's okay. Jory N, Ruin Diver. It's a Merfolk Wizard, 2-3 three for 3, and whenever you cast your second spell each turn, draw a card. Ooh, that's really good. That's really, really good. I like that, because if you're playing a lot of small stuff, get some good card draw. Alright. Come on, where's my Planeswalkers? Where's my Kozilek? We got Eldrazi o Obligator. Eldrazi Obligator, there we go. 3-1 uh, for 3. Steve Boyd, when you cast Eldrazi Obligator, uh, you may pay 1 generic, 1 colorless. If you do, gain control of target creature until end of turn. Untap that creature, it gains haste until end of turn. And it has haste. So, cool. It's kind of like a... Uh, oh, what's it called? Uh, you know, that red card that does that. <laughs> I can't think right now. And then uh, Foil Tears of Elka. Cool. Alright. World Breaker, another Mythic Rare. 5-7 seven for 7 mana. Devoid whenever, or when you cast World Breaker, exile target artifact, enchantment, or land. It has reach. 2 generic, 1 colorless, sacrifice a land, return World Breaker from your graveyard to your hand. Cool. Awesome. Wastes there. Munda's Vanguard. It's a 3-3 three, three for 5 and it's got Cohort. Tap an untapped ally you control. Put a plus one plus one counter on each creature you control. Pretty good for an ally deck. Alright, down to the last three packs here in the booster box. Sifter of Skulls, and we got a Foil Crumbling Vestige. Alright. Not the greatest pack, but maybe these last two will make up for it. I'll get a Anissa and a Chandra. Alright, who do we got here? Another Overwhelming Denial. And uh, a Submerged Boneyard Foil. So, not great. An uh, Angel Token. Let's see here. Alright, last pack of the booster box. So, we got Ailey Eternal Pilgrim. At least I didn't have her in it. Uh, so, one white, one black, two three, death touch. Pay one, sacrifice another creature. You gain life equal to the sacrificed creature's toughness. And if you pay three, sacrifice another creature, exile, target, non-land, permanent. Activate this ability only if you have at least 10 life more than your start control. Cool. So to recap, I got all that. No. It's, uh, I, I'm glad I picked this box because I did get my strip mine. Um, and I may even try and trade that in for another box. Where's the strip mine there? Yeah, there. So, strip mine, obviously, best pull there. Let's see what else we got here. I'll take out my Mythic Rare. So, I got World Breaker, Crush the Tentacles. Vinvala the Preserver, Kozilek's Return, and Mirror Pool. I think that was it. Yeah. So, lots of good rares, and then I got one, two, three, four, five, six mythic rares, one of them being Strip Mine. And uh, I'm glad that I got 
the ones that I did. I kind of wanted the Planeswalkers there, but you know, what can you do? Maybe I'll get them in the fat pack or the pre-release pack, so. All right, let's open those next.